happy beehive right here behind us and they've been out collecting lots of pollen and nectar to make honey with. Bees have been getting a lot of press lately as pollinators, but there are many other pollinators that we have here across the state of Wyoming and the Rocky Mountain region that are native and we'd like to see you encouraging them in your gardens as well. Many of those are some of our wild bumblebees, flies, wasps, hummingbirds, moths, and butterflies. Let's go take a look at some flowers that many of the other pollinators will like. So when you're planting your garden, not only do you want to have flowers that'll bloom in the spring, throughout the summer, and then into the fall, but you also want to plant flowers of different shapes to encourage different pollinators to come into the garden. These little flocks have a very flat flower on them. These catmen here have a real short tube-shaped flower, and some of the taller penstemons that have a red flower and a long-shaped tube are really great to encourage hummingbirds to come into the garden. The other shape that we often have in our gardens is a daisy shaped flower that's real tall and often very flat on top as well as yarrow. If you plant a diversity of colors of flowers as well as different shapes of flowers you'll get a diversity of the little six-legged wildlife as well as several of the two-legged pollinators that come into your garden. With the University of Wyoming Extension this is Donna Quinn from the ground up. Mm -hmm.